Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Steve Kinney here. In this video, we're diving into one of Luna's most powerful features, import session data. It might not sound too flashy at first, but once you get the hang of it, this can be a really great addition to your toolkit, allowing you to effortlessly pull in audio, MIDI, plugin chains, and more from any session straight into your current project. Let's check it out. First, let's look at the basic steps for importing session data. To get started, we'll want to make sure our target session is already opened. This is the session that I want to import into. Next, I'll navigate to File, Import Session. From here, I can either find my session from the recent sessions list, or I can open a session from disk. Additionally, I can also expand sessions to reveal the different versions and bookmarks from each session. Once we've chosen our source session, we can now configure our import settings and which tracks to import. At the top of the import session data browser, we can choose what session data to import from the source session into the destination session. I'm gonna briefly run through all of these options so we have a baseline understanding of how these options affect our import. Tempo and time signature imports and overrides the current tempo and time signature. Choosing markers replaces the current markers with those from the imported session. Global Tape Machine Settings imports global tape settings, replacing machines A through D with the source project settings. Track Settings imports all track settings, including inputs, volume, panning, plugins, sends, and track color. Automation imports automation data, replacing or adding to existing tracks in the current project. Audio and Track Versions imports audio, MIDI, and track versions, including frozen tracks. Replace, Merge, and New Version gives us options for handling imported data. Replace replaces existing data with source data. Merge combines existing and source data. And New Version adds source data as a new version on the track. Now, once we've configured our import settings, we can now choose what tracks to import and match. The Import Session Data Browser provides several options for how we can add and match tracks from the source session to the destination session. You can import audio, instrument, bus tracks, and the main track from another session. When importing, we have the option to create new tracks or import into existing tracks on a track-by-track -track basis. Choosing Match by Name allows the browser to automatically add tracks from the source session to the destination session so long as the track names match. Clear resets the destination column and clears out any tracks that were selected to be imported. Choosing Add will take any unmatched import tracks and bring them into the target session as a new track. Now there may be a situation where you want to match a source track with a different name to a target track with a different name, and this is where we can manually match our tracks. Select one or more tracks in the Import Tracks browser and hover your mouse over a target track in the Import Tracks browser to see the new track and match options. Choose new track to import the source session track as a new track. Choosing match allows you to choose a track to match to the selected track, then imports that track data that you specify to that track. And to keep things tidy, clean, and clear cut, a preview of your match tracks is shown in the timeline or the mixer view. Finally, we can select a range of the source session to import. This is really useful when you're bringing in audio along with the import. To get started, enable the import range by clicking the icon to the right of the import range label. Select your target range by clicking and dragging. The import preview now shows and highlights the range that you're importing. Now all that's left to do is click import and all of our configured tracks and session data will be brought into our current session. Now that we understand how to import and bring in our session data, let's take a look at a few really great use cases of this feature. In this first example, I have a 90 minute long session that was recorded from an artist's live show. I've been tasked with mixing down one of the songs from the live set. 
and rather than exporting and re-encoding a small section of the show file, I can simply import the session data and make a range selection to bring it into a new session. So first I can create my new session for editing and mixing and import my selection range from the source project and now I can focus on just this song from the set easily and efficiently. With remote recording being more popular and possible than ever before, sharing files and sessions have become an industry norm. Typically, you'll send off a session file to your collaborator, they'll add their parts, and then either share WAV files or a project straight back to you. With import session data, it's easy to keep your original session file intact by simply importing from the session your collaborator shares your way. Now, mixing templates are great and certainly a powerful feature. However, say you've loved the tracking and mix settings more specifically from a finished project, just import your tracks, uncheck audio, and now you've got a new session with all your preferred settings in place. This is great for working on albums where you wanna keep all of your projects in the same sonic wheelhouse without having to manually recall settings or presets. Now, one of my favorite features of Luna in general is project versions and bookmarks. Luna's versioning system keeps every major project iteration organized. It also allows you to explore new approaches to your project. So say for example, you had a whole new idea for drums, you take it, you run with it, adding new elements, making mix changes, and now you're stoked with how everything else sounds except for the drums that you changed in the first place. So you wanna keep all the new elements but revert back to the original drum arrangement, well, no problem. You just import the original version and match the tracks bringing back only the audio you need. All right, wrapping up here, import session data adds to Luna's powerful lineup of innovative tools for session management, allowing you to stay at your most creative. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to the Universal Audio channel for all things UA and Luna. I'd also like to encourage you to keep submitting your feedback for Luna in the top right corner. Let's keep this Luna journey rolling. Until next time, cheers.